So today we got a G35 in the shop doing a, a thermostat change. The customer says the car is overheating and that's the problem. So doing a thermostat. Uh, got the part right here. Should be pretty easy. Take the engine cover off, drain the coolant a little bit, and then swap her out. Should be a pretty quick and easy fix. So we're gonna get under it. Uh, get ready to get this coolant out of it. This car is easier because it doesn't have the little splash pans and all the plastics on, so this should be pretty easy. So we gotta get a bucket right here because this hose at the top. We're gonna drain it. So I'll get a bucket ready for that. Splash pan, bucket, whatever. Okay, so midway through, I noticed something with the car when I got everything off. I looked under and it looks like it's missing like the belt for the AC compressor and everything. Looks like the drive belt's still on, but uh, looks like that one's not on there. I asked the customer if they know about it, waiting for a response right now. But um, there's the housing for the thermostat right there. I can knock that out, but I'm waiting to see what they say about that. So. See if they want to change that out or replace it or, you know, whatever. Okay, so they knew there wasn't a belt on there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up with the thermostat job real quick. I just didn't know if they knew or not. So I'm going to take this air box out and make it more room for me. Get right in there. And that should be a done deal. Okay, so I had to make a quick run to Auto's room because they got the wrong part for it. I think this might be the thermostat to like the all-wheel drive version or something like that. So, just got back from AutoZone. So, it's a, it's a whole new housing with the gasket. So, just seal it up. About to pop that in. One thing I forgot, I forgot coolant. So, I might have to run back over there for that. But, no big deal. Okay, so literally, like, once you get that out, it's a couple 10 mils, three 10 mils. You'll see it. That housing, there's like two on the top and one on the bottom. You gotta get your air box out of the way. And then also I noticed that with their intake, um, their intake has like a little crack, so I don't know if they know about that, but I'll let them know. But about to get that old gasket off of there. And then that should be it. See the gasket's dirty, I'm gonna get it all cleaned up. Pretty easy stuff. So with the new gasket, you just pop it on the new housing, get it all sealed up. It's uh, it's like little tape on the back. The old one's still stuck on there. So, that's, that's the old. I took it apart because I wasn't sure but it's like literally the whole housing, so I gotta take this back. So that's it, just get that um, gasket on there real tight so we won't have any coolant leaks or anything like that. And then, as you can see, there's the three 10 mil bolts, but I'm about to go throw it in right now. Okay, so new housing and gaskets on. You gotta torque your bolts down to spec, uh, put your two hoses back on, and fill her up with coolant. So 
you got your lower radiator hose right here. You pop that back on there. You put your clamp back on. Still got a little bit of coolant dripping out. But yeah, you pop that on. And then you got another hose right here. Pop her on there. Make sure your clamps are tight. And that should be it. And that's how you change your thermostat on a 06 G35. 06 and down. Okay, so got the thermostat in, gasket in, covers back on, intake on. I see a little bit of coolant right here, so hopefully that wasn't their problem while they're getting hot. Hopefully the radiator's good, but it's all coolant right here. I don't know if they know about that, but I'm getting ready to run to um, AutoZone, get the coolant topped off. Hopefully she stays cool. But if it doesn't, I think this is our problem right here. And I have to let them know about that. Getting all the bubbles out of the system. Make sure we don't have any overheating. Hopefully this is it. Get her up to operating temp. I'm gonna scan that code though, I see a code on there. I'm gonna scan that and see what's up with that right now too.